do the final bit of tidying up on the, uh, the cable from the um, spindle which is there and do the tidy up around the drag chain and then do the uh, machine alignment. Uh, and I think then it'll be time for some uh, Hello World printing. Okay, we've uh, just turned the spindle round uh, the other way uh, as better access to the uh, chuck lock button down the bottom there. And I think it'll be uh, a little bit preferable to doing that. So let's uh, continue with this uh, the tie wrap. So we've got number one at the top here which I'm actually going to turn it around now we've turned the spindle around. Let's just chuck that off. Right, that um, I think concludes I think the, can do. the uh, power lead. A uh, little bit tied, more tidying up on the uh, all the bundles of wires. The next step is squaring the machine. Uh, what the instruction said is to loosen the four nuts on the extrusions there, and four four and four four. So what's the next step? Let's bring it forward. Move isn't it? the carriage. All the way to the front. Yep. Like that. And I said, just have to be in. I tend to sleep in the So it's like this. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. It's just Just have a little bit of a conference about the uh, one side. This the other side, the left hand, was fine. This right hand side was springing back a little bit, uh, but we've fiddled with the uh, everything and just loosening everything off. And now I'm going to tighten it up. The other thing we did as well is just make sure the uh, the uh, waste board was also um, slackened off a bit. Slackened off a bit. Okay, well we've uh, squared up the machine and just tightening up the uh, baseboard. At least Sandra's tightening up the baseboard. So it'll be done and then uh, move on to uh, doing a hello world, I think. Okay, we've uh, done the square room machine. We've honed it, honed it uh, and then uh, set the zero point, which is the bottom left of the paper in this case. Uh, go to the program and uh, it goes. hit the run button. I did ask a uh, change the tool, but we've already got the pen in place, so it clicked OK. So it looks as though we've got uh, a Hello World being, being printed. Which is the Hello World?
Hello World bit coming from? I don't know, it's just what it's called. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something like my water, it's got various. There we go. Things that make it. Hello, work. world! <laughs> we have a working 3D printer. 3D, sorry, a working, <laughs> working CNC cutter. <laughs> a working Shapeko. Shapeko. Shapoko. Shapoko, Shapeko, Shapako. Shapoko. Hey, oh, there we go. Success. Okay, we've got it working. We can now feel uh, happy to put our uh, logo on. Our label. Label. So if I can get the backing if she can get the backing off, off that's the plastic. Um, oh, and you can do it. You can do it. Stuck on well. Yay! There we go. Make sure you put it up the right way. <laughs> yeah, that would be difficult. <laughs> Where do we want this? Well, I'll put it down here somewhere, just... Is that level? Uh, up, at the, up the right hand side. Level? Ah, near enough. There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, one final job uh, just uh, doing today is we bought some uh, extra sheets of MDF, uh, had one cut to the size of the uh, wasteboard and just fitted that in place and screwed it so uh, the original wasteboard won't get uh, damaged in any way and uh, when the time comes we can easily replace the, uh, the uh, one that's on top and it's uh, the full size of the, uh, the cutting uh, area, small gap at the back and fractional gap at the sides, but uh, it's uh, all in place. Oh, and people are wondering, that's the, whoop, that's the power switch, which is the, uh, for the control board, put that, uh, stuck that on the front, so if anything goes wrong, we can easily uh, knock it or uh, one of the other switches, which is going to be uh, around. So, look forward to uh, actually doing some real cutting sometime very, very soon.